Food groups are based on foods that contain the same types of nutrients. There are five major food groups. The grains food group, for example, includes foods made mostly from wheat, oats, cornmeal, barley, or other grains. Bread, pasta, oatmeal, breakfast cereals, and rice are examples of foods in the grains food group. These foods are rich in carbohydrates. The vegetables food group, as you might guess, includes vegetables and 100% vegetable juice. Vegetables include dark green vegetables such as broccoli, orange vegetables such as carrots, starchy vegetables such as potatoes, and other vegetables such as asparagus and beets. The third food group is the fruit food group and includes any fruit and 100% fruit juice. You decide which of the following items is not a fruit. Raisins, apples, onions, and cantaloupe. The onion is not a fruit. It's a vegetable and is in the vegetable food group. Vegetables and fruits are high in carbohydrates, vitamins, and minerals. The fourth food group is the milk, yogurt, and cheese group. This group contains carbohydrates, fats, and important minerals such as calcium. The fifth food group contains many different items and is called the meat, poultry, fish, dry beans, eggs, and nuts group. Meats include beef and pork. Poultry includes chicken and turkey. There's a wide variety of fish, including catfish, salmon, and trout. You may not be as familiar with dry beans, but there are many different types, such as chickpeas, lentils, soybeans, and lima beans, to name just a few. Similarly, there are many types of nuts and seeds, including peanuts, cashews, and sunflower seeds. This group is high in protein. It can also be high in fat, so foods should be selected carefully. Now that we've covered the five major food groups, let's see how you can go about planning a balanced diet based on the food groups.